Hi everyone, I'm just going to give you a uh, quick tour of the model railway that me and my dad have been uh, building over the years. This is after uh, many requests on the British Railway modelling um, page. I've had lots of requests saying can we have longer videos rather than just the short clips that I've been playing. Um, I'll try and keep it as short as possible. Um, my narration is diabolical, almost as bad as my camera skills, so you'll have to uh, bear with me on that. Um, okay, let me just go back to the front. So as you can see, it's quite a big layout. We are very lucky to um, have a layout of this size. We have uh, six tracks running at once. Uh, there's the outside one, the fast line, if you will. That's where the HST is running. That's the Hornby East Coast uh, set. I think it was a limited edition for Model Zone many years ago. Then we have the secondary main line uh, where the Anglia 47 is running. There's the uh, freight loop as we sort of refer to it. That was where the, uh, the large logo 37 and the sea cows have just disappeared into. I'll take you around uh, in, a, in a bit. Then we have the two elevated lines here. Uh, we use them for generally local passenger services. So on one of the lines we've got the Regional Railways GMP TE uh, 142 and on the other one we've got the second version of the WIPTE Metro Train 158 uh, by Backman. The 37 and the engineers trains coming back so I'll just let you watch that one go by. All the sea cows and sea lions are Lima ones. A uh, mixture of olive and uh, the Dutch livery. This is going to be the uh, main station area. I should have said at the beginning by the way, this layout is, um, as you can probably tell, by no means finished. And it probably never will be. Now I've moved out to live with my wife. Uh, much to my dad's disappointment. Um, but he, he, keeps, he keeps beavering away at it. This is going to be the uh, main station area. It was at one point going to be based on something like York with uh, large over roofs. Um, I'm not sure what have happened to that, but I think uh, we sort of come away from that idea. But who knows, it might happen. Um, so that's the main station area. This is a sort of street scene um, that we've got going on. House under construction and uh, quite a big posh house, although one of the trees has fallen over. Uh, some of the buildings are scratch built, uh, like the ones on the top there and the northeastern signal box. Some of them are um, kit bashed and slightly modified kits, some of them are just standard kits. Um, that's more my dad's domain really, uh, I'm not very good at that kind of thing. This is a sort of Royal Mail Depot that we've got. We started this layout many many years ago and have learnt a lot of uh, things along the way uh, in regards to uh, the actual modelling. This canopy for instance as you can see is absolutely huge and uh, out of scale uh, but you know Celebi, we live and learn. Uh, this is a sort of DMU slash diesel servicing area we've got a few little bits in there for the time being. I should say as well that the layout um, is set in no particular period or era or location or anything like that it's literally um, I won't quote rule one because that seems to flame things up but um, it's literally whatever we want to run and as you can see we've got a right mixture of uh, all sorts running in here tonight this is a sort of um, greenhouse or rather garden centre area that we built this was one of the first areas to be kind of finished years and years ago it's faded a little bit uh, over time, uh, but that just gives it a nicer effect, I think. We've got a little uh, foot crossing there with the stop look listen signs. And this is the farmyard area. Again, things you learn over the years, the uh, crops or whatever they're supposed to be are absolutely huge. Um, maybe good in a Stephen King horror movie, but maybe not so good on a scale model railway. Level crossing area and old gates that have been just discarded plate layers, huts, farmhouse again that was an old super quick kit uh, that one was, the barn was scratch built and this Dutch barn is one of the Hornby Scaledale ones I think it was the first 
Scaledale Dutch Barn they did. That's just another view of the farmyard area and AWS relay box and uh, network rail staff. Stable block. You can see the two main lines diverge to the left there and go through a tunnel uh, and on the right here there is like a disused railway line. You can probably see that if you can zoom in. Um, very good reason for this, this was where one of the main lines used to run, it used to drop down uh, beneath the board here through that tunnel uh, arch portal and uh, but the gradients were too steep for trains to get back up so in the end we relayed the track made it completely level under this bit and um, mm, fat finger and um, yeah and bricked it up in a uh, sort of disused railway with um, the disused signal the bracket signal there and there's an old whistle board there as well um, that's for the foot crossing I showed you earlier or would have been back in the day when trains whistled more than they do now this is a sort of small island station um, very similar the way it's laid out to, to one where near where we live um, except this one's got a footbridge and a proper canopy still uh, something that our local station is well and truly devoid of we do need to have some repairs, you can see some of the screens have come down and the dispatchers having a bit of a nap. Um, obviously not on Sunday, rest day working. There's some P-Way staff at the end there, hacking away into the old rails. And this is a scratch built northeastern signal box, there's a few of these on the layout, all to slightly different designs. Uh, signal boxes are a bit of a passion of mine, I'm no good at it but they are, they are a passion of mine. That's a sort of uh, P-Way depot with all the old barriers and uh, sleepers and stuff stacked in the corner. As you can see there's bits of the layouts that haven't been touched yet uh, and that certainly aren't finished. But it's, as I said earlier, it probably never will be. This is a sort of industrial area. And most of it's uh, Metcalf kits and a few other uh, random ones thrown in as well. The line that the... 37 sea cows were on when it diverges into the tunnel over at the front there um, this is where it comes out it comes out here so I pan round it goes past the signal through the level crossing under the bridge through the back of the yard and through another tunnel at the other end uh, but we'll come to that in a minute so that was the industrial area again a lot of it's been modified these chimneys were scratch built can't remember how we built them now but uh, they were scratch built. A lot of these kits are, are met cars as you can see. Uh, sort of wagon and storage area. Buildings aren't finally placed here by the way, they're just sort of sat here for the time being. As you can see that one's a bit uh, skew with. Um, so we've got a sort of wagon and carriage repair shop here. This selection of stuff just sat there. Coal chute, I don't know what that's doing there but again none of this is uh, finished. Train wash. Um, all sorts of stuff, abandoned carriage, and another scratch built signal box. This one, of course, uh, isn't finished because the roof's not quite finished yet. But I did take the liberty of putting some levers in it, if you can see them uh, when I was doing it. But that's to represent a slightly more modern box uh, that a yard would have if it was still operating. It could well be shut down now, of course. So, moving this way, on top of here, um, so sort of the grey painted area. This, the idea up here was eventually when we got round to it um, was to be a sort of retail park so MFI, B&Q, Halfords uh, and that sort of thing uh, but at the minute it's just a bit of a storage area for stuff that we don't have room for elsewhere the track that the HST's on over the other side there that comes round into the tunnel that I showed you earlier and it runs underneath the top tracks uh, under here um, this is all on a hinge, so if anything does derail you can just get to it nice and easy. And it comes back out here. There's a nice loop there for storing trains. Uh, I think it's on its way actually, oh here she is. So it comes out there, and if I spin round, it goes into another tunnel there. Again another loop on the left. Continuing on the upper tracks, uh, where the 158 and the Pacer are, they carry on this way and sort of enter a town station 
again far from being finished um, and a myriad of northeastern signal boxes this one's based on uh, Seymour East as it was in the mid to late 80s before the steps were uh, re uh, repositioned and the other one at the other end is based on SEMA West similar time period I have a bit of a passion for signal boxes especially northeastern ones so this is a sort of town area here again far from being finished mixture of all sorts of buildings in there really super quick uh, I think there might be some Metcalf ones as well uh, all, some of it is also scratch built like some of these low relief ones here and the station area and a drunk signal or oh, one that's having a day off that's for sure this was intended to be like a disused goods dock and loading area so I sort of ballasted the sleepers in and then painted them but didn't get much further uh, thanks to my wife coming along so I'll take a view from this end that's the layout looking the other way the top two tracks where the pace from the 158 are uh, they go around in sort of figure of eight uh, so they get a much longer run uh, than the other loops so that one is going to head down there and the 158 is coming up to pass it and it'll head round through the station again another loop for storage and it'll head down this side of the board at the top level as well this is the other side of the depot so DMU slash diesel depot another view of it Sorry about the poor narration by the way, my, uh, my narration I appreciate is terrible. Um, the track where the 08 is uh, at the back there, or is it an 09? No, it's an 09. I, I can't tell the difference, I'm sure some of you probably can. That's an old Lima model. That's a, on a, what we call the shuttle track, uh, but it's not working properly today. Runs from one end of the top of the board uh, to the other. No, it doesn't want to work. That's another northeastern signal box. That one's based at uh, Gromont, or based on the one at Gromont on the North Yorkshire Mills Railway, for those who uh, have been there. Wonderful signal box, fantastically preserved. So that's the northeastern sort of first style box. The other ones are the second style. Uh, it used to be around here when I was a boy, growing up. Must have made quite an impression. You might have noticed some of the pictures on the wall and old posters. Um, many years ago I used to work at the National Railway Museum in York and uh, there was a time when all of these, if you can believe this, were just going in the skip. Um, and I rescued as many as I possibly could. Uh, there's a signal box one there and all sorts of other ones. The wall behind me, if I just come round here and turn round again because I'm too fat to do it while I'm stood there, um, you can see it's a different sort of panelled wood effect we've got going on. Um, all this wall at one point was absolutely covered in such posters as well, um, but the wall sort of caved in, so we had to rebuild it with this um, sort of panelled wood effect. I believe my dad's going to do the other side as well, um, but the posters that were on it are safely in storage now. Um, but yeah, can you believe that? They were all just going in the bin absolute sacrilege um, of course couldn't be having that so I rescued what I could and put them up in here where they can be enjoyed there's some of the steam train storage in there uh, that's the Hogwarts Express uh, Hogwarts Castle or whatever it's called uh, the maroon one there I understand Hornby are making that again this year with the headlights on the front and some new carriages um, if it's any better than that one I might just invest Okay, so that's that. We've got a, a train telephone that whistles when it rings. Sad. Uh, so that's that. That's the workbench and control area. And my dad's tasting music. Not a bad singer, died too young. Um, so over here we've got some uh, the Lima storage area. Again, a mixture of absolutely everything in there from 
desert sand westerns or whatever the livery was to network southeast 101s just a bit of everything really uh, airfix and uh, replica and that down there some Helgen stuff um, some UF ones as well right, I head back up this way again all these train posters um, head back up this way if I've still got your attention you're probably all dead through boredom by now so I do apologize I'll send some lilies to the funeral. Hope you like lilies. Uh, right, there's some Hornby and wagon storage in that bit there. And some more posters on the wall there. Uh, again, incredible that we're all just going to get binned. Um, railway library, you might call it. All sorts of books in there. Uh, <laughs> some of you might have seen this already on the, the group. This is the intercity... Um, 125 and 225 fleet we've got going on. All the 125s are my dad's and um, the only 125s I have are the new Hornby models. So I've got three of those. All the 91s and the DVTs are mine. Um, I intended to get rid of them um, in the hope that Hornby might, or Backman or whoever else, if Backman have done the 90 maybe they'll redo the 91, um, might make a new model but for sentimental reasons I managed to keep all of them. A bit off topic, that ship was one that my granddad built before he died. Managed to rescue that before it went to the auctioneers. And this is the sort of Hornby storage area. Some American things there as well. I have a bit of a thing for American trains. Thomas the tank engine. Uh, I do have a layout for Thomas, uh, but it's not erected in our new garage yet. But uh, hopefully it will be one day and the Backman stuff as well. Some of you might have seen pictures of this area uh, in the past. It, this stock levels up here have been radically reduced to what they used to be um, as funds for our for our new house, but uh, fortunately beggars can't be choosers. C'est la vie. If you made it this far in the video, guys and girls, if you're watching too, um, thank you very much. I will say, I should have said this at the beginning really, um, we don't take it too seriously. Um, we're not too bothered about major accurate uh, details and scale speed running and all that kind of thing. I mean, you can see in here, most of them are running at a reasonable scale speed. Um, but little details that uh, a lot of modelers find uh, offensive or irritating, they don't seem to bother us that much. As long as the train looks enough like it's supposed to look and runs well, and can manage to pull what it's supposed to and doesn't cause any trouble that's that's really enough for us i know there's little details that are annoying i could go into Hornby's intercity livery for instance but it doesn't stop me buying them it's just pure it's just for fun and that, that's what we built this for and i still are building it in fact i wonder if i give that 09 a little shove it'll get going the right way let's wait for the trains to come by All clear. No, nope, doesn't want to play. Uh, I will quickly explain what it does. Uh, um, when it does work, it runs from that area there, around the top, through the town station there, and back down the other side of the board. And it's on one of those Gage Master automatic shuttle units. Um, and it stops here. Uh, before it kills the P-Way stuff on the other end of the siding. We use that track for all sorts of, usually an 08 and a few wagons or sometimes a bubble car um, on driver training or something like that. We just use our imagination really. Uh, so yeah. Right folks, well I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I don't actually live here, I'll just make that clear because people email me all the time. Can I see more videos? Can you take me a picture of this? I don't actually live here, I live at least half an hour's drive away. Um, so I'm only out here every now and again uh, to do this kind of thing. That's why I thought I'd take the opportunity of uh, doing a video today while I'm here. So um, if you have any questions, please ask and I'll do my best to answer them. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. As I say, we're not the best modelers, but we just do it for, for enjoyment, really. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing everyone else's videos in uh, due course. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with a passing shot of the trains.
Right folks, thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.